Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Mind Amplify, where we uncover the secrets and insights that can change your life. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that affects all of us. Weekends. You know, those two precious days of freedom. But have you ever wondered about the history and impact of weekends on our lives and finances? Well, you're in for a treat, because today we're exploring the hidden truth behind weekends and how they're making you poor. You've probably heard the phrase TGIF countless times, right? But did you know that weekends, as we know them, weren't always a thing? It used to be that people worked seven days a week. It all changed after the Industrial Revolution, and it was none other than Henry Ford who played a significant role in inventing the weekend. Yes, the same Ford who gave us the beloved cars. In 1914, Ford made headlines by raising the daily wage in his factories from $2.34 to $5. This move, though it appeared socialist on the surface, had a pragmatic motive to boost publicity and incentivize workers to spend, potentially on cars. Ford continued this line of thinking in 1926 when he introduced the five-day work week. He understood that employee happiness and well-being are directly linked to productivity and brand reputation. Ford's actions reflected an intriguing contradiction at the heart of the weekend concept. It's both a time of rest and a time of consumption. On one hand, the weekend is our opportunity to relax and enjoy life. On the other hand, it often drives us to spend more, influenced by social trends and the desire to keep up with others. As industries reduced work hours to deal with unemployment, Americans experienced working less and discovered they liked it. This, combined with organized labor's efforts, led to the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, which enshrined the modern weekend. The concept of the weekend soon spread across the globe. By 1955, the two-day weekend was standard in countries like Britain, Canada, and the United States. Now, let's shift gears a bit. We've explored the history, but what about today? Many people eagerly await the weekend, but what if your financial situation is in shambles? Should you really be taking weekends off when money troubles keep you up at night? It's no secret that society has set high expectations for weekend enjoyment. From extravagant brunches to fancy dinners, the pressure to have an epic weekend is real. The culture around us promotes the idea that weekends should be filled with non-stop spending. As the weekend haze clears, we're left with credit card bills, empty wallets, and a sense of regret. So why do we keep falling into this spending trap? We're influenced by the trends, and sometimes we spend because it's what everyone else seems to be doing. Weekends are precious but sometimes we spend just because everyone else seems to be doing it. So, what's the key takeaway here? It's all about finding a balance. Remember, weekends are your opportunity to make each day count. It's not about drastic changes, but focusing on that crucial 30% of your weekend that can truly make a difference. There's another crucial concept we must address, the house money effect. Let's imagine you've worked hard for a year, and by the end, you have an extra $20,000 in your account. What would you do with it? A. Leave it sitting in the bank. Or B. Invest it. Or C. Use it to make necessary improvements, such as renovating your moldy kitchen or replacing old tires. Or D. Treat yourself to a luxury cruise. Many of us would consider options A, B, or C, saving, investing, or making necessary improvements. But now, let's add a twist. Imagine winning $20,000 in a lottery. What do you do with that windfall? A, leave it sitting in the bank. Or B, invest it. Or C, Use it to make necessary improvements, such as renovating your moldy kitchen or replacing old tires. Or D. Treat yourself to a luxury cruise. Suddenly, options C or D may seem more appealing. 
This psychological phenomenon is what we call the house money effect. Most lottery winners end up broke because they mishandle their newfound wealth. The same principle applies to your bonus weekend hours. Mismanage them, and you'll find yourself bankrupt in terms of personal growth and progress. Sometimes we treat our weekends as a bonus, like house money effect, and this can lead to impulsive and careless spending. Enjoy those weekend long drives, savor coffee dates with loved ones, and cherish playful moments with your kids. But remember, it's all about making each moment an investment rather than mere spending. You don't have to make a complete 180 degree turnaround in your weekend routine. Focus on optimizing just 30% of that 30%. Small, meaningful changes that yield significant results. Catching up on sleep doesn't mean a marathon slumber. Ditch the alarm, let your biological clock guide you, and rise with purpose. Spend some extra time under that invigorating shower, allowing the cold water to awaken your senses. Elevate your me time by delving into meditation, taking contemplative walks, or keeping a journal. Engage in meaningful self-dialogue. Finally, invest in learning. Enroll in that course, kickstart a side hustle, or engage in enlightening conversations with those who inspire you. So there you have it, folks. The hidden truths behind weekends and how they can either be a ticket to personal growth or a drain on your finances. But remember, it's not about depriving yourself of enjoyment. It's about finding that sweet spot where every moment counts. Now, I want to hear from you. What's your favorite way to make the most of your weekends? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video eye-opening, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in to Mind Amplify. Until next time, make every weekend count and keep thriving. Bye for now.